Hello everyone, welcome to Fahad's tutorial and today in this class I shall be explaining about guns, fire. Well, it's written about the backward motion of gun. When it was shot, then gun seems to have a backward momentum and how these things happens and uh, this is very important in your questions paper you may have some mathematics about the backward directions of gun so uh, in this particular class i shall be explaining about the following explanation i already uploaded the class of uh, law of conservation of momentum following this we can explain this backward motion of gun based on the newton's third law so as we know i mean it looks like a gun so a um, bullet is moving here on the forward directions when we pull the trigger and then there is a straight the bullet is moving forward and then we can feel that gun is moving backwards and this backward movement uh, the motion of gun is simply the reflections of law of conservation of momentum how suppose we know that there is a bullet going on and there is a backward backward motion of gun we can say that from the previous class we know there is a rules m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal m1 v1 plus m2 v2 but we need to know that when we shot the gun that it moves forward but before the pull the trigger before it pull the trigger what's going on the bullet inside the gun and both the bullet and the gun is in rest phase so we can say the initial velocity of gun is zero and initial velocity of the bullet is also zero so previously before pulling the trigger before so when it pull the trigger it directly straight moves the bullet and then the gun gets backwards then we can say that there is a velocity of the bullet so we can say this is actually the gun and this v2 is actually the bullet so what will be the initial momentum of both things this is zero suppose the gun weight as mass is like 6 kg and the bullet is suppose 300 grams suppose so both mass would be zero if there is no velocity so we can say the total amount is zero so hence we not need to find out the m1 we can express the mass the mass of the gun we can write as m capital m the velocity of the gun we can write capital v or even mass of the bullet we can write as smaller m and the velocity of the bullet is small v hence we can write this one that m1 v1 as we say that this is gun so you can write m v plus small m v is equal zero so we can say that this momentum after the shot this momentum is equal to the momentum of the gun and uh, the good bullet is opposite animal so if we need to know the background motion of gun on the velocity of the gun so we can say this v is equal minus the cross of mass of bullet times velocity of bullet over the mass of gun so here is the equation we can use simply in case of the background motion of gun so this is the law of conservation of momentum we know that initially the both guns and bullets velocity zero so initially it's zero the whole sum would be zero 
but we did not we're not need to find out that M1 and M2 like that. We just took over as this one capital M, capital V, small m and small v, and we put it as like as the equations. So from this equation, we can easily find out if there is any mathematics related with guns and bullets and also the velocity. In case of chapter motion, we can find it out like that. So this capital M seems this is the mass of gun, capital V is the velocity of the gun, small m is the mass of bullet and small v is the velocity of the bullet. So we know the momentum in both cases are same because if we say that the, the bullet is moving by 300 meter per second velocity in form, the gun would not be backwards in 300 meter per second as because the mass has huge difference. So I shall, I shall be explaining this type of mass on the next class. I just only explain here how we can have the equations in case of background motion of gun and we can use it in case of understanding the multiple choice questions and to find the answer very quickly we can use it the shortcut. So here are some things we can use it and this is zero. So this is the background motion of gun. In the next class I shall provide some mathematical analysis on that. So see you in the next class. Stay well, stay blessed. Bye.